So this upper beads is known as the heaven beads. The bar or rod is in the center and then the lower beads are known as the earth beads. The lower beads represent units of ones, tens, hundreds, thousands and ten thousand. What it means is each one bead is a unit of one. So this is a unit of one, this is a unit of one, this is a unit of one and so on and so forth. The same is true for this. This is a unit of 10, this is a unit of 10, this is a unit of 10. The upper beads are in the units of 5, 50s, 500s, 5000s and 50,000s. These units are actually 5 times the earth beads. This is the most basic Chinese abacus and it is in the formulation of 5 plus 2 beads. Only when the beads touches this bar will the beads be counted. Right now it is reflecting the numeral value of 0. So considering this is 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000s, 10,000s and this is 5s, 50s, 500s, 5000s and 50,000s. So if you want to represent the number 1, you push this 1 bead ahead. If you want to represent 5, you can push 5 1 beads towards the bar. However, know that one of the beads out here on the upper side is worth 5 already. So if you push these down, you'll have the same value with one bead. Now if you want the numeral value of 8, you can push 3 beads up and this will become 8. Now if you want 18, as you know one of the beads is worth 10 units push this towards the bar and it will give you a value of 18. Suppose you are looking for 68. All you need to do is add another 50 bead from here and that will make it 68. Know that uh, the Japanese created this bead by removing the second set of beads from the heaven side and one more set of beads from the earth beads. This represents the modern day decimal numeral system. That means every unit can have only values up to 0 to 9. But that is not true in a Chinese abacus. For example, you see it's at a value of 0. So even though this is a unit's place and I put in all my beads from here, the value is 15. In the decimal numeral system, there is you cannot have a value of 15 two-digit numbers in the unit's place. This was the issue and the Japanese people try to address that situation by creating a 4 plus 1 bead. So we know for sure that the maximum number of digits that can be at the units place is 9, 0 through 9. Each bead out here is worth 5, 50s, 500s, 5000s and so on and so forth. Here it's the same, 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000s, 10,000s, so on and so forth. So if you want to calculate say 719, to get 719, you have 9 at the unit's place once. You have 1 at the 10's place. So you know that this one is worth 10. That's 19. And now you need 7 at the 
hundred splits. So you know this is worth five hundred, and you need two more from here. So this makes it seven hundred and nineteen. It's very simple. I prefer the Japanese abacus because it uh, is it represents the decimal system of the modern day world. 